It's 11 minutes after 5 o'clock, and this Thanksgiving is particularly special for two local men. They're grateful because they recently got to see one another. And that's truly special because the last time they were together was more than 60 years ago. The story of how that came about is of personal interest to me because one of the men happens to be my father. And, oh, we need some... Uh... Cans. Dick Martin comes to our WBTV studios every week to service our vending machines. You're retired. Why do you do this? For enjoyment and to pass the time mostly. Mr. Martin has a great attitude about life. He reminds me a lot of my dad, although they come from different backgrounds. Mr. Martin grew up in the North. He was raised in the Bronx of New York. My dad, Billy Carter, grew up in the South in Rockingham. But Mr. Martin and my dad share something that ties them together like brothers, long lost brothers. And I might never have known that had I not noticed Mr. Martin has a tattoo. I figured he must have been in the Navy since tattoos were popular with sailors of his time. This has to be at least 63 years old. Yeah? Yeah, I got it right after I got out of boot camp. Sure enough, Mr. Martin served in the Navy, just like my dad. And this is where interesting similarities start to take shape. Mr. Martin and my dad are the same age. Both joined the Navy when they were only 17. Where did you go to boot camp? They moved there. My dad, living in Rockingham, was sent to the Naval Training Station in Bainbridge, Maryland for boot camp. You were there for 12 weeks. And Mr. Martin, who lived in New York? Yep, also sent to Bainbridge. And both were there in August of 1946. So was it possible they may have run across one another? Now that's asking a lot. There were hundreds of men in that boot camp. How well do you remember all the other fellows who were in boot camp with you? Not really. As far as remembering certain ones, I just don't remember. It's 64 years ago. With that much time having passed, neither my dad or Mr. Martin could recall one another. So it didn't seem there was really any way to know if the two may have met in boot camp. But my dad would have what would prove to be the definitive answer to that puzzling question. This faded and wrinkled, yet crystal clear picture is my dad's boot camp graduating class. That one right there. This picture is significant because Mr. Martin doesn't have any pictures from boot camp. So when I showed him my dad's photo, it was a first, and with it, a stunning revelation. So what was your reaction when I showed you I this I saw picture? this and I saw this company number and I knew I was in this picture. And I found myself right there, I'm on the end. Sure enough, just a few scant feet from one another, Mr. Martin and my dad frozen together in time. This picture proving that not only were they both in the same camp, but in the same company, meaning they served together, slept in the same barracks, worked side by side. But following boot camp, Mr. Martin and my dad were assigned to different ships and never saw each other a lot again. Of stairs ago. Okay. Until now. You ready? Oh, Lord, yeah. 64 years after they last saw one another, I'm bringing my dad, Mr. Martin, and our families together to have dinner. And you are seeing them as they meet again for the first time since 1946. Hi, Billy Carter. Nice to meet you again. Quite a while. <laughs> Quite a while. Yes, yes, yes. And as my dad and Mr. Martin reminisced, it became very clear that memories of the past were pouring through. <laughs> you remember the swimming pool that we had to swim across to, to now, graduate? Now that you're talking about it, yeah, I do. A time to remember, a time to celebrate, a time to be thankful. <laughs> it's a wonderful experience. It's a wonderful experience. God bless you and yeah. all of you. Billy Carter and Dick Martin, new best friends forever. Hmm. Oh, wow. It's a small world, isn't it? <laughs> and to think, it all began with that tattoo. Now, I also want to thank the wonderful folks at Ciro's Italian Restaurant who allowed us to use their place for the reunion and to Paolo, our gracious host, and the accordion player there. It couldn't have been more perfect. And again, we have so much to be grateful and it, for and thankful oh, for. Oh, yeah. And it all started with that conversation you had yeah. with Mr. Martin. We see him every day in, in our loading dock, uh -huh, you know, uh -huh. like you said, filling our vending machines. Yeah, and, I, and usually he's wearing long sleeves but one day you happen to have his short sleeves on and I, and I saw that tattoo and that made me think Navy and then my dad and, and it all started from Oh uh, what a story I love it that just gave me goosebumps <laughs> so fun to see them reunited again mm.